Coming up next, the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Three years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 33 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Charles de Brux. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of four wins, no losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bob. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch them up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with round one. Fear is not a factor for him. He feels so confident in all of his skills. He don't care what John, John, it doesn't matter. John, it doesn't matter. It does not matter how well you see yourself as a grappler. This guy's di different level. Yeah. This guy's next level. You want to avoid this at all costs. Maintain distance. Do not go and grapple this guy. Oh, hammer fist here by Oliveira. 
Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Going right in the mouth. He's gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. So Charles Oliveira going submission hunting here again, DC. He trains out of Houston, Texas, the native Brazilian. On paper right now, the most accomplished submission artist in the history of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. Build the shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to... And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. You throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. So there's the end of the round, the storyline over those previous five minutes. Volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight. Not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. Good stick. Trying to double up on that jab. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Oh! Muay Thai clumps. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. What a takedown. Perfect execution as he gets the single leg takedown. Attempting to go for the leg now. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. Absolutely, he finishes his opponent by way of submission. Right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him 
that puts them in danger in finishing fights. Archer, there is the consensus baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. He leaned on the grappling. That was the path of least resistance, and that is the man they are all chasing for UFC heavyweight gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called the stop to this contest at two minutes, one second of the second round. Declaring the winner by submission, you do a heel lock. So how about it, there is a new baddest man on the planet, the new UFC heavyweight champion, and he didn't just come in here and win on points here tonight, he submitted the defending reigning UFC heavyweight champion, takes the belt into his corner, and this is just an amazing moment for fighter and 